Cannon have been on record as saying that, for them, dedicating the stabilization system in the lens is the optimal way of doing it. Now I could talk about the fact that not every Canon lens has image stabilization. Uh, in fact, in their prime lenses, not many of them do. What I really want to do in this video is compare Canon stabilized lenses to the IBIS in the GH5 at a range of different focal lengths. So I grabbed my Canon EOS R, I put this lens on it. This is the Canon 10 to 18 STM image stabilized lens. And I compared it to the GH5 with this non-stabilized Panasonic 818 lens. Then I rigged them up to this contraption just to make sure that I was recording the same footage on both cameras at the same time. Then I went for a walk. At their widest common focal length, a full frame equivalent of about 18 millimeters, you can see that the GH5 is smoother. So I increased the focal length to a 24 mm full frame equivalent. And once again, the GH5 stabilization appears to be doing a much better job. So I zoomed in to their longest common focal length, around 32 mm full frame equivalent which for me is about as long as I like to go handheld. But still, the EOS R looks considerably more shaky. So I wanted to give Canon another chance and I changed lenses on both cameras. So on the Canon side, I went for this 55 to 250 millimeter lens. This is the STM version with image stabilization. And on the Panasonic side, I went for this 75 mm Olympus prime lens without image stabilization. So I just wanted to test how stable they looked with a static shot. Now I don't have the steadiest pair of hands, but actually I thought the Canon did really well here. The GH5 also manages to control my shakes pretty well. However, IS locks a mode you can turn on on the camera that makes the IBIS mechanism more sticky. With IS lock on, it's definitely better than the Canon. So as much as I like Canon cameras, and I do like them, I like the way that they operate generally, I like the color science, I like the dual pixel autofocus, as much as I like them, I think that they are wrong when it comes to stabilization. Um, the lens stabilization is not as good as IBIS. And in the case of Panasonic's IBIS, I think they've got some way to go. But I think that's enough from me for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. So I'll see you then.